Hi, I'm Stan Soloway, President and CEO of the Professional Services Council. Thanks for stopping by. 2013 is going to be a very busy and sometimes chaotic year throughout the government, and we at PSC have identified a set of policy priorities that we think are most important to our membership and to driving the kind of excellence and performance that we think our government deserves. First and foremost, and on everybody's mind, is the budget. Finding a way to achieve a degree of budget stability, get back to regular order in the appropriations process, provide agencies with the certainty and predictability they need to plan and execute programs, and that industry needs to plan and execute programs on behalf of the agencies. Second, acquisition excellence. This is a long time theme and one of the focal points of all of the work we do, but we need to focus again on how do we drive the kind of performance the government really deserves and needs. That involves using best commercial practices and commercial items and services. It involves, critically, avoiding the overuse of low price technically acceptable awards where we're buying complex solutions, where nuances and differences or discriminators are critically important and trade-offs have to be made. It involves matching contract type to the risk and, and nature of the requirement being fulfilled and much more. Third, the whole area of human capital and the federal and private sector workforce needs to be looked at carefully. We need a proper balance between public performance and private sector performance. We need cost comparison processes that are really accurate and tell us what the real costs are of performance in one community or the other. We need to focus like a laser on better and more innovative and more contemporary training for government acquisition professionals, for technology professionals, and for how the two of them have to work together with their private sector partners to deliver for the taxpayer. Fourth, we need to take a look at the whole balance of regulation and oversight. This is an industry that is going to always be regulated. It is highly regulated. But frankly, in recent years, the pendulum has shifted to an area where the costs of that regulation and that oversight far outweigh the benefits that are derived from it for the government. We need to take a look at how our audits are conducted, the levels of intrusion, the quality and scope of those audits, and how we can balance that against the government's appropriate need to drive transparency and to drive accountability. Finally, we're going to continue to focus on the broad area of the health and future of the services industrial base. This has many facets to it. One, of course, is how do we develop and pursue appropriate small business programs to support the innovation and agility of the small business community. Equally important, what policies and practices do we need to pursue to ensure that small businesses have the ability to grow beyond their size standards and continue to thrive and to serve the government? We need to be looking holistically at small business, not just at the prime level, but at all tiers so we really understand how and where small business capabilities are being brought to bear for the government. We need to be thinking about impacts of acquisition strategies and other policies on the mid-tier, companies that are too big to be considered small but too small to compete for really large requirements. They are a critical element of the industrial base and we need to think about, from a strategic and policy perspective, how we can support them. These are five broad buckets. There are lots of individual issues within each bucket and many of them, of course, cut across numerous areas of interest. Compensation, personnel rules, avoiding arbitrary cuts to the service contracting workforce just as we avoid arbitrary cuts to the civil service. Avoiding arbitrary caps on salaries that might inhibit company and government ability to access the kind of talent it needs and so much more. It's going to be a very full agenda this year. We invite you to join us to come back to the website frequently for updates and to get involved with us as we try to drive the kind of excellence and performance and efficiency that are so important in this day and age. Thanks for stopping by.